Hey you guys, your girl is team tall skin. <laughs> I have a crazy tan from the pool and the beach. I am sunburnt, okay? My butt and my thighs, like my upper thighs, cooked. Like, it is so itchy and I'm so red in that area. Like, it's crazy. I've never gotten like a really bad um, sunburn like that before. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so today is Wednesday. Right? Yes, it is one thing. I'm done being outside. I've been outside for like 13 days straight and your girl needs a break. I need some self-care. So I'm gonna do a hair mask because my hair really needs it. As you guys can tell, I took down that hairstyle I had and now I'm gonna do a hair mask while I do laundry. Let it marinate in my hair a little bit, you know? So yeah, since I've been in the sun all these days, my hair really needs, it needs some loving, okay? On Monday when we went to the pool, it was really nice. I had a lot of fun. I got to spend time with family and we went to like this local spot and the burgers were really good. And it was also really nice too that it wasn't really crowded. It was pretty warm that day, but it wasn't like that hot. So I guess that's why there wasn't a lot of people. I don't know. And then yesterday we went to the beach as you guys saw and it was so nice. The weather was really good for it. But then in the afternoon, it got really windy. That kind of got annoying because the sand kept getting into our face. So yeah, um, but overall, other than that, it was a really nice beach day. So for my hair mask, I'm gonna combine these two. The Shea Moisture Power Greens, and then the Uncle Funky's Daughter, um, what's this called? Heal and, Heal and Renew. So last time I mixed these two and my hair really likes it and these do have protein. So let's say like this much. And I'm putting my hair back in a bun since I am doing laundry. Now I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of this one. The thing with this hair mask is that it does, I feel like it lays on top of my hair. So I'd be taking like the smallest amount like this, like that. So it could kind of melt into my hair. Cause if I take more than that, it's just gonna stay on top of it. I feel like it's not doing anything for my hair when it's just sitting on top of it. You guys, I need a haircut really badly. And I don't know, I've just been hesitating to get it done. Because I want my hair to be long. Like, I love my little curly fro, but sometimes I want it to be like really long. And I know it's gonna take some time because, you know, I did transition. And my hair still needs time to like really grow out. And it has been growing. My fro is just, instead of it going down, it's just going out. Which is cool, but your girl wants some length to her life, okay? But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well, especially during these trying times. We've been going through some tough two years, right? I mean, the inflation in New York is ridiculous. Like, the food though, the food is crazy, like... I don't eat Oreos, but like I I was going through the food aisle in um, CVS. I saw that the Oreos were two for nine dollars. I was like, since when Oreos are two for nine, senores? What is happening? That is beyond ridiculous. Because who got time for two for nine for Oreos? Dime tú. And then the chips. The chips be mad expensive too, like, before you could get like two for like, what, two for three for a big bag of chips, and now they're like two for, what was the last time I saw them? I think it was like two for eight or two for seven. But yeah, New York gotta be one of the worst states to be in when it comes to inflation. It's just real out here, that's, that's all I could really say. So yeah, I'm gonna style my hair later when I finish laundry. I'm also gonna clean, and I'm gonna cook because I've been eating out like crazy and no <laughs> no ma'am i got food in the crib i already took out the meat i'm gonna make some tacos tacos on a wednesday oh yeah you guys i forgot to mention yesterday at the beach i was so surprised to see how clean and green the water was like first of all growing up going to rockaway i used to go to reese park all the time as a kid um with my family I remember that water being so freaking brown. It was brown, it was brown water. It was not the color it is today. So when I saw it yesterday, and I haven't been to that beach, I can't even tell you the last time I was there. Because I normally just go to the beach when I go on vacation. It sounds so bougie, but it's the honest truth. Or I'll just go to like 
a lake you know i don't really go to the beach beach out here and when i saw it yesterday i was surprised how green it looked i was like wow you can tell they're making efforts on cleaning out the beaches now because growing up girl it was brown water it was brown all right so i probably got like 10 minutes left before i have to go back to the laundry mat so i'm gonna put my hair in a bun and check in with you guys later but this is how my hair is looking looks nice and hydrated happy sunday i hope you are all doing well today is super freaking hot and of course i naturally want to go to the city <laughs> so that's what i'm doing i'm getting ready right now to go to the city and do some shopping it's not really by choice i do need to return a, a couple of things but you know today was like the perfect day for me to go so that's what we're doing today and i'm taking you guys with me i'm just putting on my earrings i finally could wear my little hug earrings don't mind my nails my nails are terrible ignore them <laughs> i'm just taking a break from having um a set on but yeah i'm wearing my little hoop earrings these are um real gold the 14k i couldn't wear them for a really long time so i'm really excited to wear them the back piece for some reason wasn't like clicking on i had bought these earrings as like a little gift for myself when i had opened nova lisa up so yeah i'm really happy that i finally got to fix them and i could finally wear them and um i'm already sweating so i could just tell that I, it's gonna be a hot sweaty day so i'm gonna bring my little I'm gonna bring my little hair tie you guys i don't have any black sunglasses these are the, the only ones i have which they're nude and they match my outfit i'm wearing black and gray because that's what you wear when it's hot outside black <laughs> but um yeah this is what i'm wearing this is how my hair looks my hair is holding up pretty well Especially with that weather up gel from twist that has helped my hair survive a lot and i can tell you guys i have to cut my hair like i need to get it together you see and just cut like these little pieces off so that they can match the rest of my hair but anyways let's head to the city <laughs> literally only gonna try on one thing <laughs> these are cute though right they're a vibe i don't have anything like this so let's see we're in the men's section this smells mad good this is the brand morning you guys i made myself some farina and of course the coffee is on deck and they're giving game of thrones right now when i turn on the tv are you guys excited for house of the dragon because i am are you gonna watch let me know hey guys it is later on in the day listen we are not gonna talk about how i look right now my hair is so frizzy but i don't know i guess on camera you can't really tell and it's so dry like it's crazy and today is so hot it's so humid it's 
it's really gross out here today. I want to share with you guys everything I got yesterday. I always carry around my little Bloomingdale's bag because don't nobody want to pay for a bag these days, okay? So I did go inside Old Navy and I didn't get those pants I showed you guys. Um, they just didn't look right. I'm finding that Old Navy's jean shorts in general just don't go well with me. I don't know what it is. I ended up getting two tops. I didn't get I didn't get that many things to be honest with you because I really went to um, exchange something. So I ended up getting this tank top. It's a really pretty color. It's nice and nude, but it's like a darker nude, you know? And I actually have this same tank top when I went last week. I got it in um, a lighter nude. So now I have a darker nude and a lighter nude. I really like the way it fits. I think that it looks good. Like you could even tuck it in to wear like as a bodysuit, you know? So it's really nice. It's very flattering. And then I ended up getting this white because, you know, we always want a white moment. A white crop top. I also have this same top in black. And last week, I also had bought, like, these, uh, like, cargo, I guess, shorts. Also from Old Navy. And I really wanted them in black. But they didn't have any black ones. They only had, like, really big sizes. So I couldn't get any bottoms. Which, that's totally fine, right? And then, let me show you guys what I got at Sephora. Because, you know, I had to treat myself. I had a gift card, so I finally decided to get something after carrying that gift card for like months. I went to the Makeup by Mario section. I really wanted something from him. I, I never tried any of his stuff. So I was like, you know what? I want to try one of his face products because we all know Makeup by Mario has been slaying the game for how long already and the girls always look flawless. So I was like, no. I need to try something for the face. So I ended up getting the soft, the soft scope shaping stick. I really wanted a new contour stick because the one I have is so old. Like I'm pretty sure it's expired already. I've been using it for years and it's actually from ColourPop, which is funny because it's kind of like this. This is the packaging. I think it looks really cool. I love the black and white. I'm curious to see how long I can keep this clean. <laughs> And this is how it looks. This is the color I have, which totally should go with my skin tone. And I really had liked the packaging when I swatched it in the store. And I also really like that it comes with like this um, little brush in the end. So technically, I don't have to use another brush. Um, and it does come apart so you can clean it. So I kind of like that, you know. So yeah, I'm going to try this out and give you guys my thoughts. They also had the, um, like a cream blush because that's why I really went in Sephora. I wanted a new blush and I don't know. I swatched it. I really liked the way it blended out. It blended out really nice. It was really creamy, but then I saw this and I had it in my hands and I dropped it because once I swatched this from one size, which is another brand that I've been wanting to try. I haven't tried anything from this. So this is called the cheek clapper. First of all, the name is hella funny. I just think that's so cool. And I got it in Firestarter. I don't know if you guys can see. And I got it in Firestarter. But now, now that I'm home, right? Because you know things things always change when you get home, right? I'm like, do I want to go back? Oh no, there's like a little thing on it. It has like a little chip on it. Chill, I hope someone didn't open this one. So this is how it looks inside. So the cheek clapper comes with a cream blush. And then a powdered one to set it and then like a highlight color to match. I really like the way it looks when I swatched it. I swatched it twice to make sure I liked it. And now that I'm home, I'm like, do I really want this orangey color or do I want the berry color? Because I did also like the berry one. I forgot what it's called. You know, now that I think about it, someone touched this. Someone touched this. Look, you see that mark there? Now I'm feeling like I should, I should go back, right, and get the berry one. But overall, the packaging is hella cute, right? And I thought it was pretty good pricing, especially that you get three different products in one little set. This is just something that I need to think about. <laughs> so yeah, I, I originally wanted to get the, uh, what's that brand called? Rare Beauty um, Cream Blush. That's been in my, like, um, loveless for a really long time on Sephora 
and when I went there of course they didn't have it the girl said it went viral and people have been going nuts and you know that's what happens when things go viral like people just eat it up and you can't get your hands on it so yeah I'm gonna think about that trio I might go back and just get the Mario stick because like I said that I was impressed the shade that I had liked was dusty pink and something pink. Hold up. Let's just pull it up, right? So I can tell you guys which one I really liked. Earthly pink. So I liked earthly pink and dusty rose. So dusty rose is more of a neutral rosy mauve, which I, I tend to like those kind of blushes on me. I think they look really pretty, really flattering. And then I also, of course, like peachy ones. That's why I had picked up the um, fire starter. I just thought like this color was gonna like compliment me and then the earthly pink is more of a blushing rose I don't think about it knowing me. I'm definitely probably gonna change this <laughs> I know how I am. I'm gonna keep thinking about it. I'm like mm, Yeah, you're not coming home with me. I'm gonna exchange you 